In this lesson, we are going to learn about the basic concepts on electrical circuits. Okay, so we are going to build on the foundation on which we can learn further topics in our study of electrical circuits and more specifically our study of electrical engineering. Okay, so first we are going to understand what is an EMF. Okay. Let's just say that I have a bulb, okay, and this bulb I connect with a battery, okay. So I have a battery over here and I connect these two. So basically, what I do is I connect these two by means of metallic wires, okay. So when I make this connection, obviously, I'm going to see that this bulb lights up, okay. So what has basically happened is your current has now started to flow like this okay and your bulb starts glowing okay you know what is current current is flow of charge right so basically your charge must be flowing through this circuit okay if charge is flowing or if charge is moving obviously it is doing some work okay and if it is doing some work obviously someone is providing energy okay who is providing energy over here your energy is being provided by this voltage source okay by this battery okay so your emf is basically your energy that is transferred to a unit electronic charge as it moves across this whole circuit okay so just realize your current if it is going like this then it basically means that your electrons are flowing like this okay so your emf is basically the energy that is transferred to one coulomb of electrons as they move like this okay so if you are having a battery of let's just say 12 volts then basically what's happening is one coulomb of electrical charge is gaining a energy of 12 joules okay you know your volt is joules upon coulomb okay this is your energy this is your charge okay so since your emf is measured in your volts you essentially have your emf as energy per unit coulomb or your work done by a charge to move from this position to this other position along this electrical circuit okay just realize one thing over here your battery is providing energy okay so anything that provides energy is known as an active element okay anything that absorbs energy okay so over here your bulb or in other words your resistor is absorbing energy okay it is absorbing energy and converting it into heat okay which is given by your i square r okay the amount of heat generated is equal to this okay where r is the resistance of this bulb okay so anything that absorbs energy is known as a passive element okay so all your elements like your resistors okay or your capacitors or your inductors they all are passive elements okay and your voltage source or a current source okay anything that is giving you energy that is giving energy to these passive elements is known as an active element okay now let's learn about what is potential